Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the number one most important thing you have to know about the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. It is the most important feature or setting that is happening with this device if you get yourself a screen protector. Now the thing is, is that right now I have the Invisible Shield Glass Curve Elite. This one is for the Galaxy S9 Plus. This one is a full adhesive screen protector. If you are interested, I will have the video going up tomorrow talking all about this one with the correct way to install it because almost everybody is doing it incorrectly. But the moment you get it on there, you possibly might not be able to use your phone. Right now, I'm trying to actually just bring down the settings. I almost possibly maybe have to use Bixby right now, but make sure that you do these two steps that are very important before you install any screen protector, unless if you get the white stone dome glass because that one is 100% awesome with touch sensitivity. So pull down the notifications panel. You're going to go over into settings. So we're going to try to see how long it's going to take me to even get there. Um, but you want to go down to your advanced features. So once you go to advanced features, open up advanced features. Now what you're able to do is touch on this touch sensitivity. And once you have this one turned on, now you're actually able to use the phone. So this is just one of those things that you do definitely want to turn on. Now the very next step is by going over into display. Once you go to display, now you're going to head down to where it says the navigation bar. So because this is part of where the screen is, especially that screen protector, you do want to go to that hard press of the home button and you want to make sure that it is light as possible. So lighter, the better. So then this way, if you want to get in your Google assistant, it's much easier for you to press through this tempered glass. Now I do have to say in the video, I already tested it. It's perfect with the case friendliness. It's amazing with touch sensitivity, the moment that you actually play with those two different settings. Um, and the installation is actually not too bad. As long as you watch the correct way of doing it, then you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, before we finish this video, I'm going to head over into the diagnostic test. So to go to that diagnostic test, you want to do star pound, zero star pound. And I do want to mention there's particular carriers and some countries that has disabled this because there's other different ways of actually testing this. And as I play with this, you're going to see that this one is going to be working perfectly fine. I'm actually barely kind of touching the screen as if I was testing any other screen protector. But before I finish in all those different squares, you can see that pulling down your notifications panel is going to be perfectly fine. You know, popping up that Samsung Pay is going to be perfectly fine. Um, anything that's going on along the edges everything is working perfectly well you can tell it's a huge difference from the very first time that i was even trying to work with anything just trying to go anywhere with the screen and i was not able to so i hope that you guys have appreciated this video make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family and social media sites because if anybody who has purchased the galaxy s9 and the s9 plus if they bought the tempered glass screen protectors for this device some of them are giving them some very bad touch sensitivity and these are two very easy very fast but very very important setting changes to use to get that touch sensitivity back so they can love and enjoy their Samsung Galaxy device. Also stay tuned for tomorrow for the correct installation of the Glass Curve Elite for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus that has that full adhesive on there. A lot of people have been installing these things wrong, giving this thing a very bad name, but I'm actually super excited and stoked to play with this one because it is working perfectly fine. Outside of that, hit on this subscribe button right over here if you have not already. And I'll see you guys later.